So let's move on to our next story now. It takes us away from Nigeria and we move straight to Kenya, where dozens of foreign dignitaries and diplomats have arrived to Somalia ahead of the inauguration of President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed today. Well, a link in this uh, to Kenya is because we do have our correspondents who's joining us all the way from Kenya this morning. But before we bring him on, let's also mention that in Somalia, Hassan Sheikh Mohammed defeated Mohammed Abdullahi Fumajo in the May 15 election, just in case you have forgotten. The number of guests that are attending the inauguration is a clear indication that the international community has trust and faith in the new president, who initially served in the same capacity from 2012 to 2017. Now this morning, we're joined by New Central's East Africa correspondent, Abdino Aden. Good morning, Abdino. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. And uh, it is another uh, month of June, which started with Independence Day in Kenya. And today we are waiting for the inauguration day in Somalia. All right, help us make sense of what this historic day, um, historic day, I beg your pardon, means for Somalians. After several months of, uh, of delay and actually a process that uh, delayed for several, uh, for a long period, indeed the country held peaceful polls and peaceful handover of power. And today we're going to have uh, the peaceful inauguration, which is something that indeed is historic. I like the fact that you're using the word peaceful, peaceful, peaceful. I mean, we know how uh, there has been civil unrest, especially in that uh, part of Africa. But top leaders from different parts of the world are looking to attend the inauguration today. What does this symbolize? Indeed, uh, we already have guests from the neighboring countries. Uh, we have uh, the Djiboutian uh, president, uh, uh, President uh, Gwile, and we also have a, a presidential envoy from Uganda, Mama Babazi, and we also have other um, ministers. And uh, we have we've seen lawmakers from neighboring Kenya. We have leaders from different parts of the continent. And according to the official statement by the national broadcaster, uh, the SNTV, uh, twenty um, heads of state and uh, representatives have already arrived in Mogadishu. And we are aware that uh, uh, President Hassan Sheikh uh, has been you know, using his uh, motto, which is Somalia at peace with itself and at peace with the rest of the world. Now his new foreign policy, which is all about uh, bringing, um, making friends all over the world and being at peace with friends, indeed is something that uh, might play out during his inauguration today, going by the guests who have already uh, arrived. There are some of all, of course, who've sent a, their messages of uh, congratulations and couldn't make it, but indeed uh, they maintain to show, they continue to show support to the new president. All right, brilliant. Peace all over the world, making friends all over the world. That's certainly a good one. Let's talk about um, his inauguration plans, post inauguration plans. After his inauguration today, we know that President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed will pick a prime minister whose mandate will be constituting government for proper service delivery. Do we have any clue as to who might likely clinch that position? Of course, uh, I think uh, many names have been, been blogged, been tweeted, been spoken about, but uh, of course it always happens the same whenever a new Somali president, uh, you know, um, takes power and is sworn in because we usually have a, uh, a lot at play. We have the 4.5, which is actually how you know uh, power is distributed within the country, how positions are distributed. And of course, uh, going by the challenges that stood out between um, President Mohammed Abdullahi Farmajo, the former president and the prime minister, uh, Mohammed Hussein Roble. Many people are indeed you know, advising the president to have a prime minister whom they won't be having challenges with uh, in terms of uh, um, implementing and uh, you know enforcing uh, government uh, decisions the other thing is um, we have the the major you know clans around and uh, many people are bidding we have also lots of politics involved you know uh, both local and, and, and internationally and the president uh, is taking his time consulting widely holding talks with his uh, you know people who I have, uh, you know, been really uh, influential and supportive 
in, in, in the country's leadership so that he doesn't settle on a name that he might take the blame when things go wrong.